Hello and welcome to part 2 of making my first big game starting from scratch. But I'm trying to make a big game by using Unity's visual scripting aka Bolt. In this video I will be showing you the progress I have made so far by choosing how I did the wall mechanic and jump pad mechanic and how I made my first tutorial scene. I will also show the concept art that I have made for the main character, Trace. So some of you may have watched my previous game dev vlog and are wondering why I have decided to start from scratch after finishing modeling the character and have finished the base mechanics. First of all, that character looked like garbage. Why are you bullying me? You f Why are you bullying me? For example, the anatomy looked off and not to mention the edge line, the topology was terrible. Then there is also a lot of clipping in the texturing, and the rig was a total mess. For example, the hair was terrible, it was hard to control, and for instance if I lift the arms, the shoulders would just bug out or just look totally off. But now I've learned how to make a character from scratch in my 3D classes, as you can see in the render I've made for turn 1. Unfortunately I will not post a tutorial on how I made this character, because I have totally forgot to record it, so I decided I'm going to ditch all character design and code and start everything from scratch. The biggest reason for doing this is because even though I have a brief understanding of how c -Shop works, I'm not best at it and I have a lot of problems adding wall grinding mechanics and have problems with the new input system. And I've also gotten stuck in tutorial loop where I would just watch a video and follow the step by step, but as soon as it comes to creating my own mechanics, I would just struggle and struggle and I would not get past it. So I've decided to start with using visual scripting, which I'm most better at. So I did the old project and start from scratch. So this is the project I will be using for game design in for turn 1 and for turn 2. And I've decided I just want to make this game go bigger because I love the concept and the idea I have behind it. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So I draw out the concept that I want for my character. First of all in different colors and different styles and different sketches. Note that drawing is not my strong point. So I settled on this drawing and tried to improve it for a final character concept. After doing that, I went on to making a character model sheet, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the best at this. A character model sheet is a 2D drawing, usually from the front side and back view, that will be used to create the character in 3D. Okay, so this is what I got so far. I have the main environment for the tutorial. Obviously, I'm gonna make this look cleaner later on the line. This is just for like a quick demo to test my mechanics. So what the player has to do is it will give instructions on how to move, how to jump. And as soon as the player comes here, there will be a pop-up, which I will show in a minute. And then the it will show the player how to wall run. And as soon as the player goes through all these jumping loops, the player will go up on this and then this will launch them in the air landing on this platform and passing this where it will show a uh, congratulations you've won obviously I'm going to change this for the final project this is just for the tutorial so over here I've made a prefab with the main camera the cinema machine um, that I'm going to use for the free look or at least what I'm going to use to look around that's way easier than just normal um, coding everything from scratch. Then I have the script for the player. Uh, if I go over here, you would see here's the movement. So if war running is true, this physics will be applied. But you can just read through this, you can see what basically happens. Uh, for those who use C-sharp, this is way easier to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of tutorials on how to do the war running mechanic and whatnot. But basically all it does, it uses um, the speed, uh, multiplied by one, multiplied by delta time, and multiplied by forward. I do this one for, if I remember correctly, is to know which side of the war it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that doesn't matter for now. And if it's false, it will be the normal, um, normal mechanic for running around. Uh, I just did this because I had a bug where the gravity just wouldn't get disabled and it was buggy it was weird but i fixed it by using that and if it's wall running is false uh then this is the normal movement basically uh, i know i could have made it way shorter it's just um i was kind of running out of time so i had to make something quick up in there and then over here it gets the input can wall run if it's false it will do a normal camera thing if you go in here I i'm not gonna go through this i'm just gonna show you what it has over here just get an input slowly going through if you want to copy this code obviously um, so this is just so that the player can rotate around 
um, without having problems. And then it gets the direction, the quotidian rotation, and is moving is true. I use this uh, boolean mostly for auto mechanics later in the game, but yeah, that's what I got so far. And to make sure the character doesn't slide, I put it on release, vector 3 to 0, and is moving to false and gravity to a uh, velocity to zero. And this is uh, another part of the character rotation. You can just go through it if you want to. It's, it's nothing fancy. Then we have the jump. Uh, I'm not gonna go through much how the jump works, but I'm just gonna go through the warring uh, state because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of tutorials on how to make the jump work. So if war running is true, this war running uh, is going to turn to use gravity is gonna be enabled, add impulse into the out direction. And this timer is just so that the character doesn't stand against the wall the whole time, which was a problem I had in the beginning. And the health system, I'm planning to expand this more. So instead of just like on collision enter and then boom the character dies i've put in the health system just in case um i always think that's good practice to think in the future so in case there's an enemy that's going to damage the player i rather prefer to just have this and here's the warning state it doesn't really matter then this is a script for the trigger argument that we will go to the next script uh it basically just calls the other script uh for the war running i try to have my scripts a little bit um separated otherwise this will get a little bit messy then the sliding, it doesn't work at the moment, but I will definitely fix that later. And over here is just to hide my mouse, put gravity to zero because my character slide in the beginning. And this is to restart the level, which the player can press R to restart. Then if we go to the wall running code, which you probably all were here for. And I just want to share, I could not find a single video on how to do a wall running mechanic using visual scripting. Like at my college, they helped me to figure this out. So I really appreciate it from them. But basically just go through it, it gets the argument from the other script. If is wall jumping is true, it will go to can wall run put it to false. And if I aren't wall jumping, then this script will file. This is just to indicate um, if the wall run is working. So we had a lot of problems seeing that it doesn't work, but this just shows that it does. Um, it gets the rate cost, shoot out, yada yada. You can just read through this, it's, it's really not that complicated. Okay, and then it gets the ray start pass, which is the player's trans, uh, transform. <laughs> I know I'm going quick, uh, quite quick. I might bring a tutorial on how to do the step by step in the future, but for now, this is just so you can see how it works if you want to copy the code. Um, this is for the right wall, if I'm correctly, and this is for the left wall. Um, I know I could have made this a little bit smarter so it just detected automatically, but because of time constraints, we just did it like this and call it the day but basically it gets the cross of the wall and adds uh, up force look direction just for the weird buggy look and i'll just copy the code down here another thing that i've added is a main menu note this is just a prototype this will look better later in the future but for now it's just so that i can get my idea across so when you press on the play button it pops these two up and then you can go to the tutorial and it will load the scene and while we add it I can show you the message. You can just read for this if you want to. You can post the video and say whatnot. I'm definitely going to change this. This was just a quick joke I made. <laughs> I know it's not funny, but I did it anyway. And if you press the resume, it goes on, and you can see how the wall running mechanic works. And then jump into walls to walls. And then if you go over here, I will show you how the jump pads work. We'll shoot you up in the air. And if you go over here, you would win. Obviously, the bubbles gonna show up now. But if you die, it just shows this, and you can restart and just complete the level over again. Another thing I've made is also a level one, which is just this basic scene. I'm definitely not gonna add this. I'm definitely gonna change this because there's way too little sp space for the player to run across. And I've also made busy working on this level that I might add in the game or might not add in the game. It depends how much time I have. That is part two of my game dev vlog. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe or you can visit my Twitch if you want to see me work on this project live. Uh, I stream whenever I can, if possible, but if you want to just put the notifications on and you can see when I'm uploaded live. Also feel free to visit my other social medias. Links will be in the description. And with that away, cheers.